a very quick video on solving compound inequalities with your CAS, TI, INSPI, or CX. Um, so here's the problem that we want to solve. We want to solve negative 12 is less than, actually, let's read this correctly. When you read a compound inequality, you read from the inside out. So it's 2x plus 10 is greater than or equal to negative 12, but less than or equal to negative 4. So let's see if we can't solve that. Hopefully you have the problem written down quickly. Going to go straight to our calculator. And we're just going to type this in. As a, it is a solve function. So it's just S-O-L-V. Check this out for a second, how this is in italics. Once you put in a command that your calculator recognizes, it goes to standard print. It's a way to really determine whether or not your calculator has some may have some idea of what you're asking it to do. So from there, solve, and we had, right, we had negative 12, so negative 12. To get to less than or equal to key, it's control equal, and then go down to here. And it was 2x plus 10, wasn't it? And which was less than, right? Less than or equal to negative 4, right? Okay, so here we have the solve function in here. Take a look. This is kind of important. Take a look and make sure you, it is the way you anticipated it being. Then what I'm going to do here is put comma x. Uh, floating tater, I see some. I saw in your notation that it seemed like you had it a little bit too complex. This should be pretty simple. So just try to simplify your notation a little bit maybe. And then there's our solution, okay? And you can do that with any function. Uh, and I'll have tons of videos to show you that, but I promised myself I'd keep this short so you guys could see it and use it and get it done. So this is the notation you're going to use every single time. Solve, set up your compound inequality, right? Make sure you put comma and then name the variable you want it solved for, and there's your answer. And then really quickly, I wanted to show you what this thing looks like on paper. So it would look like this. It would look like this. So here's this compound inequality that you gave me this morning. It looks like this, and it's 2x plus 10 is less than or equal to negative 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve this thing twice, and it would look like this. First, I'm going to solve this part. Yeah? I'm going to solve this. So I'm just going to say negative 12 is less than or equal to 2x plus 10. I'm just going to start solving it. Add negative 10 to both sides. Get negative 22 is less than or equal to 2x. Divide both sides by 2, and we'll get that x is greater than or equal to negative 11. So that's one of our solutions here, and that was what it showed on the calculator. And then what we're going to do is this. We're going to solve this a second time, but this time we're going to solve the opposite side of the, the inequality. Let me see if I have a better color. All right, so now I'm going to solve this part. So I'm going to set it up again and start solving this. So I'm going to take 2x plus 10 is less than or equal to negative 4. Negative four. Start solving. I'll get 2x is less than or equal to negative 14, right? Let's divide both sides by 2 and get x is less than or equal to negative 7. All right? And then keeping in mind, this is what's happening when we're typing it in. This x and this x are the same. So when you write this as a compound inequality, you just use the x one time, then you're going to rewrite this portion, greater than or equal to negative 11, and x is less than or equal to negative 7. All right, I hope this was helpful. Have a great day. If you haven't already subscribed, please do.